are you guys and welcome to another deep conversation with your girl show and i hope you're doing well on today happy tuesday how y'all day going is it going if it ain't, it's going to get better. We're going to seal that thing in the name of Jesus, okay? All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into a little bit of the mess. We're going to talk about these bell collectives. And before we get too deep in the conversation, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. But most importantly, go ahead and like that video, okay? So I think I'm going to do a real quick hot take on Friday's episode. Because it didn't give much, but it gave something. And let me just run this down. Tamara, girl, the girls are after you, okay? Miss Marie and Letitia is on the case, and now your ex fiance are ready to bring you down. I don't know what you did with to these girls when y'all was on break or last season, but friend, they are after you. And the production is also showing that you are a liar. I don't know what you need to do, but you need to fix it and get it together because they finna come down on your case, girl, and they finna get you. I don't think that, um, and let me say this when it comes to Tambra. I think Tambra says she wants a family, a husband, and a child for a storyline. I don't honestly feel like Tambra wants that, and that's okay. I think Tambra is at an age to where she should be comfortable enough to speak her own truth. Girl, just say it. I thought I wanted this. I'm really more career driven than I than I thought. This is nothing that I want. You don't like living in with your husband, with the mud, which I don't feel like y'all really living together. No way, but that's a conversation for another day. You don't, uh, but you don't like living with nobody else. You really don't want to stop what you're doing to carry a child to, um, take the lead that is needed to care for this child for your body to heal and for your baby to be okay to get out in the world and then let's be honest your 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 parents are of a particular age their latter years are way ahead of them than their younger years so i think that you have to take that into consideration and i feel like she is um Timber ain't no spring chicken herself. So I wish Timber would be more truthful in that aspect and just say, y'all, I thought I wanted this. I don't really want this. I, I'm trying to get to this point in my life. And everybody will be okay with that. But I think it first needs to start with you, Timber. Be okay with saying that you thought this was something that you wanted, but it really ain't. That's just my two cents. I ain't saying I'm right. That's just what I'm observing for this show. Um, Miss Marie Monroe, I think it was good to see her talk with her therapist to break down some things to see where she's coming from and to give a little bit more background when it comes to her mother and her parents. Um, in general, that her daddy was the, the caretaker, her dad was the one who held the fort down while mama was out here in these streets. And I think it gives us a little bit more insight as to why Marie goes so hard, why Marie is you know, have this big wall up and shell up because of everything that went on in her past and i'm glad she's talking about this and bringing this to light because more times than none there are a lot of people who are going through this same thing and i'm glad she's doing the work to get the healing that she needs and this will also help her be a better parent to her children okay let's move on to miss uh let's talk about look so gucci so we know that the episode opened up with so gucci sanjay and marie and zuri was doing her thing y'all she was out there pop locking and dropping it okay shout out to missouri honey but um they still having a conversation about what uh happened between selena and so gucci and sanjay is team her mom i wouldn't expect her to be anything else but i also feel like sanjay Jay has a jaded um scope of the situation and the reason why I'm saying that is because you with your mom most kids always rock with the mother it's very few and in between as to when you don't rock with your mother and not on your mother's side but we know why she's team mom that's number one um so Gucci brings up the fact that, well, she has her own man and her own life. I don't know why she's worrying about us. And Sanjay got a little offended, as she should. I'm not mad at that. It was like, well, Ian got nothing to do with that. Well, you need to tell your mama that too, Miss Selena, because she brought that up. Selena brought up the fact that she was the first to be on TV and she was the first to marry JJ. So if that statement is good enough for so Gucci, Miss Sanjay, that statement is good enough for your mama, Selena, as well. Because your mom brought it up. 
not so Gucci. Okay, so I do want to feel like Sunjay do need to kind of step away out of it, even though she's an adult. Let the parents handle it and you stay out of it. I don't feel like you should be a mouthpiece for your mother. And I think that is what's happening here because the reality of it is, is that both of them was wrong. And I feel like Sunjay is trying to cast more wrong on uh, her stepmother versus her mom. And I feel like they are equally wrong i don't feel like one outweighs the other that's just my personal opinion i do think that selena is talking a lot of trash as well as so gucci is talking i think both of them are doing it to each other my two cents speaking of so gucci and latrice baby at the end they didn't know what to do it was giving very much awkward okay um do i think that they can move past this i don't know i feel like they could when it was just about the building but now that selena has got thrown into this mix i don't know if gucci would ever trust uh latrice the same um latrice i think you need to take a little bit of accountability and you are so quick and i said these in my other videos to call out somebody else marriage who somebody still won't but quite as kept do Kip, Kip cliff still won't uh miss selena we're not going to act like they ain't been intimate with each other, okay? But anyway, I do think that you need to worry about your own marriage and what's going on in your household while you're trying to cast down things on somebody else's marriage and who ain't loving who, okay, Latrice? I also get where you're coming from by saying, oh, I've invited them both two things that it never happened i think this will have a little bit more sting to it this will have a little bit more off to it why because selena was a mic this time selena has done tv before she already know it's time to get spicy just like marie said in the beginning oh they both took this as a shady moment because both of them are on tv so they know when it's time to throw shade they know that you put on and perform when the camera comes on so I do feel like it held a little bit more spice and y'all been talking about Gucci since the beginning. Every time Selena and Latrice got together, y'all were talking about Gucci. Okay. So I think it's cute Latrice to say that, oh, I do this all the time, but mm, maybe this will have a little bit more stank on it. And maybe you didn't do it intentionally, but I think in the back of your mind, you was probably trying to do something reason why i say that when she was talking to letitia she was like oh if i wanted to get somebody to get gucci it definitely wouldn't be selena so that gives me thoughts that you are planning something and you want something to happen you should have said that bad wordings okay um let me get down to miss letitia honey i feel like letitia is the real villain fight your mama not me okay I feel like Letitia is the real villain. Letitia is the villain and she is the bone carrier. She is going to all of these ladies and inputting these little things here and there. But more importantly, she's the real reason behind this whole Tambra situation. And I really want to know, Letitia, why you got Miss Marie Monroe doing your dirty work, honey? Because I don't feel like Marie have a real issue with Tambra. We saw it when she was talking to Aikisha because even then she was like um well um i um well my issue is i don't like to be lied to like it took her so long to come up with that part of the you know as to why she ain't rocking with timber no more but i feel like she really don't have a real issue and that's why timber was like girl what problems we got i don't blame timber for for saying that like I don't know what's going on. Oh, why is this? But Letitia is the real bone carrier. She is the real villain in this show. But she get overshadowed by the Maries and Latrice because she's over here doing it a different type of way. Oh, because she's being nice and nasty. Oh, because she don't raise her voice. Oh, because I'm a bell. Oh, let's get this together. You know how people feel about Dr. Jackie? That's what I'm seeing in Miss Letitia because you were the one who brought the girl to the uh table last year i think there was no coincidence when that your friend said that she and greedy was dating and used to date and all that. i don't feel like that was a coincidence 
I think that scene was set up purposely. You were not really caught off guard by what that girl said. You knew what y'all was going to talk about. Also, with that being said, you uh, brought her to Marie um, party. That, that wasn't even your party. You invited Marie. Y'all hired her to do the decorations and put them little Dollar Tree candles up. It, Letitia, you the real villain, girl. And I, I'm side-eyeing you for real, for real. Like, girl. Even when Marie was talking to Tamra, did y'all catch that? She said, me and Letitia went to talk to your ex-fiance. Now, if this was really a, be a, a burden that she wanted to carry on her own, she don't need Letitia. Letitia really wants to uh, get into Tamra, but the thing is, I don't know why. I'm ready for that to come out. All right, you guys, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Y'all drop down in the comments and tell me what do y'all think. I am voting Letitia to be the real bone carrier and the real villain in this situation, all right? All right, you guys, I ain't got no more. I see y'all probably around. Give me another hour. We're going to talk numbers for Love and Marriage Huntsville, and we're going to break down the Love and Marriage Huntsville episode. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.